What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about England's greatest castles. Because as Americans, we really don't get to enjoy castles. Like, the UK just seems to be overflowing with castles, hoarding all of the cool stuff. So today, I want to take a look at the top 10 best castles to visit in all of England to see exactly what we're missing out on, you know? So, let's take a look. At 10, Rochester Castle, Kent. Okay. Exploring the Kent. I've, <laughs> I've never heard of this in my life. I feel like that's going to be a theme of this video. I don't really know much of anything about castles. Maybe there's some castles I know about. There's got to be some that I've heard of, but don't really remember. Anyway, <laughs> see if history class has taught me anything. About but Rochester Castle in Kent, I have never heard of. Looks very cool, very old. Kentish town of Rochester makes for a fun and easy day trip from London. Oh. Just steps away from the train station, you'll find yourself immersed in a pedestrian-friendly downtown area, once popular with famed English author Charles Dickens, who wrote some of his best-known works here. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, we don't have the option in the United States of just doing a day trip. Like, like the narrator said, you can just do a day trip out of London and go visit this castle. Like, what? That's just normal? If you feel like it, you can just go visit a castle. Here in the United States, we only get to see castles in, like, movies and television shows and fairy tales, you know? That, I, that's just one of the things I can't help but be a little, I don't know, maybe a little jealous of. <laughs> that you can just go for a drive and see all this amazing stuff. When you're done exploring the many old buildings and attractions on Rochester High Street, wow. take the short walk up Bowley Hill to Rochester Castle. Though now largely ruins, much of this imposing 12th century castle can be explored either as part of a guided or self-guided tour. I, I was wondering about that. Are you allowed to just go up to the castle and do whatever you want? Like, explore it? I feel like we would not be given that much responsibility here in the United States. I don't think we have the temperaments to deserve castles. Maybe that's it. I feel like Americans would just be trying to chisel off like a brick from the castle wall and take it home. I don't know why. <laughs> but if castles were all over the place, maybe they wouldn't be so precious to us and we wouldn't be trying to take them home with us. Hey, anyway, it's cool if you can just go explore them uh, in a guided tour or just on your own. That's awesome. If traveling with kids, try to time your visits to coincide with regular events and festivals held here, such as popular medieval fairs. Oh, yeah. Directly opposite the castle wow. stands Rochester Cathedral. Wow, wow, wow. I just got to pause it because this is such an amazing, like, drone shot, aerial shot of the castle. That is the most castle-y looking castle. I feel like I had this castle growing up in <laughs> as a toy in my bedroom or something. That's just... Mm. That just looks like you're a castle right there. <laughs> what an amazing view. Built in 1127. Some of the original wow. features still remain, including the impressive Great West Door. Wow. Amazing. That is so cool. At nine, Arundel Castle, West Sussex. Okay, Ar Arundel Castle. Again, never heard of this one. This one looks a little more uh, fancy, you could say. Okay. Over in West Sussex and only a short drive from the charming cathedral city of Chichester, Arundel Castle was built in the wow. late 11th century. Though remodeled and restored many times... What the heck? The what? 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 <laughs> Just the fact that this exists, like... Like, I don't know. England, like, you have some amazing stuff, like, at your disposal. I hope you appreciate, uh, because I certainly am. That's amazing, just looking at this, that this is just, this kind of thing is just sitting around all of the UK, a bunch of castles like this. That's amazing. Since, much of its medieval era influences remain. It's beautiful. And it remains an imposing sight from miles away as you arrive. 
Highlights of a visit wow. include guided tours of the castle's well-preserved interior, which features collections of period furniture, historic tapestries, and a number of important artworks. Oh, wow. There's even are, are you allowed to go inside and explore <laughs> as well? This looks a little too... It's a little intimidating. This looks a little too fancy to just walk around inside. So do I have to take my shoes off or something? And a unique collection of artifacts that once belonged to Mary, Queen of Scots. Oh! Be sure to allocate time to oh, yeah. explore the castle's grounds. In yeah. addition to immaculate flower beds and vegetable gardens, here you'll also be able oh. to visit the castle's historic chapel. Wow. A cafe, restaurant and gift shop are located... Wow, wow, sure enough. You can just walk around the castle. That's, a, that's awesome that... Like, you can do that. Uh, part of me, again, feels like here in America, if we had castles like this, I feel like they'd be closed off, or you would have to go on a guided tour for sure, so you don't take some kind of stained glass window home with you. Hated <laughs> on the premises. Wow. The ceiling? Two? Very At cool. At eight, Bodium Castle, East Sussex. What is this? Bodium Castle? This is, a. Uh... This is like ready for war. <laughs> this is like surrounded by water. Like ready for battle. Uh, a perfect defense. <laughs> Set in the pretty countryside of East Sussex, 14th century Bodium Castle is undoubtedly one of the most romantic of England's many remaining castles. Yeah. Though its interior wow. is partly in ruins, this moated fortress dominates the surrounding countryside with its imposing towers and sturdy walls much of which can be explored wow. and climbed, opening up incredible views over the surrounding river Rother country. It's just so... The word I'm thinking of is authentic. It's so authentic. Like, I can't wrap my mind around that these castles are just built all around the UK and England. They served a very practical, real purpose. Like, this is an authentic castle. Like, where, in my mind... I almost look at this and I'm like, oh, this is a prop or this is from a movie or something. This is from a TV show, right? It's like, no, this is real life. This is a real authentic castle. Like, that's how freaking rare uh, and, like, obscure of a concept this is for us Americans, I think. Side. There's plenty of fun things wow. for kids to do on site. That is so freaking cool. Wow, you can visit this one as well, I, I see. Including participating in hands-on learning activities, <sighs> dressing up in period costumes, oh. and participating in authentic medieval period games. Cool. The castle's visitor centre offers a variety of snacks and beverages, including a tasty cream tea option. Yum. Wow. When that, you're done... That, you that, this castle is freaking cool, the way it's surrounded by the water. Sure to stop in at Ewhurst Green, oh. home to one of the prettiest churches in southeast England. Oh. And if you're planning on making a day of it, consider taking the fun oh. steam train ride hey. from nearby Tenterton. <laughs> okay. The Kent and East Sussex Railway extends all the way from this beautiful Kentish town to Bodium train station and makes for a fun day out for the whole family, with wow. Bodium Castle just a short walk away. Wow. It's not the most gigantic of castles, but it's so real. <laughs> is, that, is that a weird way for me to look at it? It's so authentic. Oh, it's so cool. What the? Wow. Okay. Next up, it's number seven. Alnwick Castle. North Alnwick Castle. Where is this? Northumberland. Northumberland. And again, this is kind of cool because uh, we're traveling to a lot of different parts of England that I've just literally never heard of ever. Like, I've never heard about these areas of England, let alone that they're these castles I've never heard of. And, and I love that. I love lo learning about stuff I never knew even existed. The official seat of the Duke of Northumberland and the country's second largest still inhabited castle oh. after Windsor, Alnwick Castle was built in the 11th century and makes for... What? What? Still inhabited? What are they, what are they saying? Still inhabited? Does somebody live here? I've heard of Windsor. That's like owned by the royal family, right? Yeah, there's some palaces or like Buckingham Palace and Windsor. There's some that I've heard of that are famous enough that even us Americans have heard of them. Um, is this a pretty famous one? All Olnwick in Northumberland. 
Uh, I'm still confused why they said it's inhabited. Is somebody, somebody living here? Or <laughs> for an easy day trip from the English city of Newcastle upon Tyne, oh. 45 minutes drive wow. to the south. Though much has changed over the centuries, it remains every inch as imposing a structure today. Yeah. In addition to exploring the beautiful grounds and gardens, visitors can enjoy a variety of fun things to do here. Oh, cool. As well as guided tours of the castle's plush interiors, visitors can access a variety of interesting exhibits relating to its long, rich history, as well as displays of artifacts collected by the family. That is so cool. I don't think anyone is living here, because they are giving tours. <laughs> But it's amazing how they've, like, kept the interior of these castles, like, pretty up-to-date. So you can kind of see what it was like authentically back a thousand years ago when the castle was in use. That That's really cool. Including relics from ancient Rome and Egypt, as well as local events. Wow. Movie fans will recognize the castle for its role in the Harry Potter movies oh. and TV shows, including Downton Abbey. What? What? This is... What? <laughs> what? This is Hogwarts? <laughs> is that what this is? What? It doesn't, it doesn't like look big enough or maybe part of this was shot for Harry Potter, right? <laughs> now at six, Leeds Castle, Broomfield, Kent. Okay. Widely regarded as oh. one of the prettiest and best preserved castles in England, yeah. Leeds Castle is definitely one of the best places to visit in Kent. Oh, this is interesting. This. This castle is very beautiful. It almost looks like a mansion. It almost just looks like a rich person's home. <laughs> like, like someone could have commissioned this to be their mansion in the style of a castle. It doesn't look like a like a war t war torn like castle that's kind of falling apart. Maybe it's just because it's so well preserved. Maybe. Built on the site of an even older castle around 1280, oh. its large moat and rural setting landed Ooh. a remarkably romantic look from pretty much any angle. In addition to tours of the castle's elegant interiors, guests can enjoy a variety of fun activities, including medieval fairs and craft oh. shows. Huh. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern. It's like, these castles are in pretty obscure places, to me, anyway. Not like the, the biggest travel destinations like like London or something but all the castles seem to have like medieval fairs and tours and they're kind of set up for tourism uh, it, it seems like which makes sense costing tournaments and a land train as well as adventures such as zip lining and segway tours nice Leeds Castle has also made a name for itself as a classical music venue. What? With its famous outdoor concert held each summer, drawing huge crowds of music lovers. <laughs> what? What? Wait, I did not know about this. A uh, music festival? Outside of the castle. That is fantastic. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Why not? Beautiful castle. At five, Highclere Castle, Newbury, Hampshire. Ooh, this is an interesting style. Highclere Castle, never heard of it. This is a, this is like a totally different style of castle. I don't even know what you call this. While more a country manor than fortress, ah. Highclere Castle is nevertheless a must see when in Hampshire. Located an easy drive from the Cathedral City of Winchester and widely regarded as one of the top day trips from London, Highclere is well known the world over for its role as the fictional Downton Abbey. Oh, I've never watched Downtown Abbey. Is that what this is? Oh, that must mean this is so famous. So many people must go here if it's from Downtown Abbey. I've heard of that. I've never watched. And this does look more like a manor or a school or something, that's true. This opulent manor home's real history, however, is equally as rich and interesting. Huh. In the hands of the same family since 1679, it wow. may appear recognizable to many, as it was designed by the same architect responsible for London's Houses of Parliament. Right, that is what it looks like. That's what it is. It literally is the same style, same, same architect. That makes sense, because I've, I've seen pictures of the Houses of Parliament, but this and this is exactly what it uh, kind of references. It looks just like this. In addition to viewing its immaculately preserved decor and furnishings, 
visitors will want to allocate time to explore the grounds of this 1,000-acre estate. Ah, okay. A variety of unique experiences can also be enjoyed here, from private guided wow. tours to elegant meals served in the opulent dining room. You can, <laughs> you can, you can get a meal? Is that what they're saying? You can get a meal in the dining room here at High Clare Castle? <laughs> That's pretty cool. How much does that cost? Oh my god. <laughs> what an experience. <laughs> and now at four, Warwick Castle, Warwickshire. Okay. Those looking for a fun day out with kids who have an interest in the old days of wow. knights and princesses would do well to include a visit to Warwick Castle on their England travel itinerary. Th this, is, this looks big. Dating back to the time of William the Conqueror, this 11th century castle is a picture-perfect embodiment of a traditional English castle. Yeah, Complete okay. with imposing battlements, towers, and on most days during the busier months, heavily armoured knights and other characters from this time in history. Wow. Well, they actually have, like, armored knights and people walking around, like, just to complete the illusion. This is a really castly castle, once again. <laughs> I love describing castles that way. This is such an authentic-looking castle as well. And it's... so much of it is like a wall. Like, you can really tell it was built to defend this territory. Like, you can tell. Highlights of a visit include fun interactions with guides in period costumes, hands-on learning experiences, yeah. as well as jousting tournaments, dressing up, and even enjoying overnight glamping stays. Ah. Other highlights include an original dungeon, oh. a working trebuchet, <laughs> and a fun maze. Okay. You may also want to use your visit to the castle as an opportunity to explore other fun things to do in Warwick, right. many of which are within an easy walk. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these castles seem to be nearby other cool stuff so you can make it kind of like a day trip or a little vacation that that's nice <laughs> it'd be kind of cool to try to visit as many of these as you could like in a week or something and see if you could visit them all or something that's the cool thing about england like compared to the united states it takes forever to drive anywhere here but england it's like it's smaller compared to the United States, you can drive around places. A lot of these castles, they're saying, is like a day trip away from London or something. So you literally can just like, hey, let's go visit Warwick Castle today. Like, just just the idea that that's possible is so such a cool freaking thing for people living in England. Like, that is such a cool thing to imagine being able to do that. It's just a aspect of like English and British culture like that doesn't exist in American culture. We don't think about castles. They're just not not a thing. Like we don't think about visiting them. That's why it's like kind of so special and different when like getting to see these. Like this is really special. Now at 3, Tower of London, City of London. Tower of London. I've heard of the Tower of London. Wasn't that like for where they were like torturing Guy Fox or something? <laughs> That's the only thing I remember about it. The Tower of London? Nothing comes to mind when I think of it. I thought it was a tower. <laughs> thought it was a tower. It, it's actually a castle? Is that right? Instantly recognizable, the Tower of London is one of the most visited castles in England. Yes, right. it is a castle. Located oh. on the north. Oh, what? It's a, it's a little castle. It's in London. I have never seen the Tower of London. I always assumed it was like a, te a tower. This castle has like towers on it. But Americans were like, we don't, <laughs> most of us don't know that the Tower of London is a castle. I've never heard that ever, huh? Northern bank of the River Thames, just a stone's throw from Tower Bridge, this iconic old fortress includes cool. sections dating over 1,000 years of age. Cool. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it has served as everything from a palace, a prison, the nation's treasury, right. and even a spell as a royal zoo. Oh. These days, this top London attraction offers plenty of unique experiences, well suited to young and old alike. Topping most tourist itineraries wow. is taking a tour of the central White Tower with its impressive displays of old armor and weaponry, the former royal apartments, as well as the magnificent crown jewels. Oh, the crown jewels are in the Tower of London. I think I have heard that before. 
This is really cool. And the fact that it's in London, this must be incredibly popular. I, I have not really ever thought about the Tower of London or how you can visit that well in London. I guess London has so many, so many things there. Um, this, this might be kind of underrated. Although I'm sure a lot of people go to it every day. It's probably rated just fine. <laughs> okay, I think we're, okay, we're on to number two here. Number two, and then number one. What could they be? At two, Dover Castle, Kent. What is this thing? Dover Castle, Kent. Never heard of it. Um, it's amazing, just looking at it. It's got like several tiers of walls. This is a freaking, I'm gonna say it again. This is a proper castle right here. This is a castle's castle. Um, you could defend yourself from an army in, in this castle. I mean, it's built on a hill. This is like makes so much sense for where you would build a castle, like logically speaking, just to defend territory. Like you're, you're on a hill, you're above the enemy with many levels of defense. This, this is so cool. What the Standing heck? majestically above the Kentish port town, after which it's named, Dover Castle has been <sighs> a symbol of British strength and resilience ever since it was built in the late 12th century. Wow. But even some 1,000 years before that, the same site was used by the Romans for a lighthouse, the oh, remains of okay. which can still be seen today. Immaculately preserved, a visit to the castle is one of the top things to do in Kent wow. and can easily take the best part of a day if you plan on seeing everything. This thing is gigantic, man. This is huge. Highlights <laughs> include historic artifacts and furniture, displays relating to its use in World War II, okay. over 80 acres of grounds to explore, and those spectacular views over the English Channel towards France. Wow. Guided tours are available. Wow. This thing is awesome. Dover Castle. I'm going to remember that. That is awesome. And at one, it's Windsor Castle. Windsor. Berkshire. Windsor Castle. Win that makes sense. This is like one of the most famous castles. Is Buckingham Palace technically a castle or no? Probably not, or it would be on this list. It's a palace, I guess. Windsor Castle. I've heard of this. I've seen pictures of this before. It's like, it's like an estate. It's beautiful, right? Doesn't the, can't the royal family, like, don't they visit here? Or can you, can you tour this one as well? Anyway, this one's freaking, it goes without saying, this might, this is one of the most beautiful, without a doubt. The jewel in the crown of English castles, Windsor Castle is a must-visit destination. Yeah. The world's yeah. oldest still-inhabited royal residence, this spectacular building can right. trace its roots all the way back to the 11th century, when William the Conqueror chose it as the location of a castle. This is, this is like, a, this is a beautiful castle. They're, they're right, probably, to put this at number one. This, this is beautiful. Like, you can't deny it. Since then, it has housed many kings and queens, and in modern times, serves as a summer residence of the British royal family. Oh, uh -huh, wow. Visitors to the castle can access a variety of interesting areas. Oh. Topping most people's lists are the sumptuous state apartments. Oh, my God. So, uh, you can visit this, actually. That's cool. Home to the spectacular Queen's Gallery and the Dining Hall, oh with their ornate God. wood carvings and lavishly painted ceilings. Oh, my God. You can also take a look at St. George's Chapel, the scene of royal memorial services and weddings. Be okay. sure to also allocate time to explore the castle grounds. Known as the Great Park, this wow. lovely green space stretches for six wow. miles on the south side of the castle. Guided tours of the castle and its courtyards are available. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's amazing. And there you have the top 10 rated castles in England. Did you like what you saw? I did. I did like what I saw. <laughs> I like what I see. That's so freaking cool. This was a great video. This was by Trip Extreme. I got to give it a like. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Like, it is just so cool how castles are such a big part of English culture, British culture in general. It is such a freaking cool thing. I, I can't stop saying that enough. Um, something that, like, I think most of us Americans are really, like, entranced by, like, hypnotized by the castles, because, again, we just don't get to see this. And I, I only see this in, like, fantasy movies, 
But no, they're real, and there's a lot of them, a lot of amazing castles in England. This was really enjoyable for me, I gotta say. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like, or leave a comment with your thought on any of these castles, or any castles that didn't make the cut here that maybe shoulda, that'd be very interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture and stuff about Britain I've never seen or learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.